So there's a quick update on my 200 gallon display, uh, roughly around 280 gallons of uh, total water volume. There's a 40 breeder uh, refugium with a uh, Petco uh, LED light. And it's the controllable one. And it's got a really decent size uh, leather in there, toadstool leather and a whole bunch of uh, fern algae, uh, macro algae. And it's got some Kenya tree and it's got a a pistol shrimp and a uh, I believe I don't even know what that what that goby is, but they're uh, they're paired up and it's got some hermit crabs in there and some uh, emerald crabs in there as well. <clears throat> Here's the display. So it's a 200 gallon, uh, six foot long. Uh, it used to be a um, freshwater tank. I drilled it, you know, and pretty much made it my own. And I did all the plumbing to it uh, myself. And it's got quite a few fish in there. The sailfin is the oldest one that's in there right now. Um, I think about maybe four years old, <clears throat> something like that, and the Midas Blenny. Yeah, he's probably about maybe three years. And there's about seven um, chromies in there. Got two fire uh, firefish in there. Got a matted file fish in there to uh, keep control of the Aptasia, the Bangai Cardinal in there, and uh, two Perculas, and regular Arcelaris, and then that Sally Lightfoot, which is in the cave, or the arch. He's really big, or she's really big, really big, probably, well, here's a, a molt of it right here and that's my hand up against it so it's really big <laughs> and the rainbow bubble tip anemone right there <clears throat> used to be one big one and then it decided to split so now there's two I'm kinda thinking there's three this uh, top one right here I think might have split again already this is the original one right here and then the magnificent anemone right there I've had that one for gosh almost five years now or something like that close to and then a whole bunch of grooves or grubs or whatever organia and some mushrooms some frog spawn or hammer and I can't really remember that one. You tell me. I think it's a hammer. <clears throat> and then jack o' lantern right down here. It was starting to die off and then it came back. And so that's where that center piece is missing. Right there. And this camera is not all that great for for the blues. And then some Florida Recordia. And then my tuxedo right in the middle. So, and some Montes, some red. The green didn't do so good on the top portion right there, but that little tiny piece in the center <coughs> is doing pretty good. And then the sump down below. And the dual reactor, the BRS dual reactor right there one GFO the other one is activated carbon or carbon um, then I have the single one right there as well it's not running anything right now and then uh, this is the reef octopus uh, elite 220 internal does excellent I my nitrates are pretty fair well uh, controlled with that and I also uh, take the phosphates down with the GFO. I use the um, <coughs> the NoPro uh, X um, 
Red Sea as well, just to get the nitrates down a little bit further. So they're probably around like 10 right now. I think I checked the chemicals and did a water change actually yesterday. So, yep. And then that's my uh, water change hose, which runs out to the garage, out of the garage, out there into the driveway, out to the um, sump pump, and it pumps it out to the street. So that makes it a lot easier for me to do a water change. Here's my mixing station right here. So turn the pump on right here by that switch. And then it's on right now and I just power it up. It's got the same pump as the return pump that I have on my display and it pumps it in. <clears throat> so it goes from right here, goes up and back in as a as a cycle. So it just does a continuous um, when that switch is on or that valve is switched that way. So when I turn the valve off and then turn this valve on, the blue one, then it pumps it into the tank and it spits it into that little grate right there right there so and that's how I do my water change it takes me about maybe maybe 10 minutes you know that's with agitating some of the sand if I do at that point and then uh, and then also uh, taking a baster to the rocks I don't have any pumps down there to blow out the detritus or anything but uh, that's probably going to change because I'm going to take that power head and that power head and most likely put them down into the into the rock structures off to the left and the right. This one is really open so it's not not really getting um, detritus built up or anything. So yeah, I probably end up getting a um, sand sifter in here sometime as well and most likely a sand sifter in the refugium too. So, yeah, there's my fresh water system right there, or holding tank, anyways. And I'm curing some rock. <clears throat> it's probably cured by now. It's been sitting in there for about a month and a half with some uh, seed from, I forget who. Anyways, whoever makes the seed product. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's in there and uh, doing pretty good with the heater and pump and all that circulating so I need to change out the, fil the filters on this RO system but it's the RODI uh, single membrane but um, yeah it's a 75 gallons a day system from BRS the six stage so and I've got the, uh, the Evergrows um, in the middle the IT 20 60 or 2040 one of those in the middle I used to have two of those in the middle but it was a little overkill so um, and then these are just the regular Chinese boxes black boxes on the left and the right got those for cheap so they're doing all right and they can actually grow some some SPS but um, I was having some uh, hair algae issues so I haven't bought anything coral wise for this tank in a long time because I needed to get that that hair algae under control and seems to have done that so yeah <clears throat> that's really about it and I got a couple heaters down there one of them is the Eheim 300 watt and another one is a Petco special so just to take the chill off and it's at a steady 78.4 right now so yeah, that's really it. Uh, yeah, so I do actually plan on putting my old 24 gallon bow front right here in the middle. I'll build a stand for it, and when that uh, holding tank is gone for the rocks, I'll use that existing rocks to build that up. Not too sure if I'm going to plumb it into the system or not, or if I'm just going to have it as a single system or a separate system but um <clears throat> well yeah so that's in the works so 
Yeah, so keep an eye out for that one. All right, thanks.